a reading that I call your spiritual support system. This is a reading that you can do for yourself at home, or if you want to purchase one for me on my Etsy store, you're certainly more than welcome to. But if you want to just do this at home and modify it to your own, uh, to with your own cards, that's perfectly fine as well. So um, I did a little Facebook giveaway on my site, um, on my Facebook page, where I asked people if they wanted to volunteer to be the one uh, for this reading so I could sort of demonstrate it to you and they know who they are I sent a message I won't reveal their name but just so you they see an actual reading in action so what this is is it's called your spiritual support system and so what I do is I draw a god and goddess card an angel card an animal card a plant card and a crystal card to show you what kind of energies you might be working with right now whether generally or for a specific project so what I do is I start with the god and goddess card now I have a lot of god and goddess decks as you can see I have um, so what I do is I use a dice to I roll it to find out which deck I should be pulling from. So this is just your standard kind of dice, but this is a dice I only use for sacred practice. So um, this, it's only used for that. I never use it in like board games or anything like that. So I've labeled all of these decks, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got the Goddess Oracle. Uh, this is probably my oldest Goddess deck. I've had it since probably the late nineties at least since university. Love this deck. I also have two Doreen Virtues here. Um, these are the ones I think are the best Doreen Virtues, to be honest. The Goddess Guidance cards and the Ascended Masters. I also have the two Stacey DeMarco ones, Goddess and Sirens, Gods and Titans, and also the Mythic Oracle. So I think we have a wide variety of deities here. And some of the deities appear in several different decks, which are actually kind of like, for example, Kali appears in this deck, this deck and this deck, but all with slightly different tones. So that way you, even if you get a uh, god or goddess, you would have gotten another deck. It might be towards similar, like with different energies. For example, this one is about facing fears. Kali and this one is about endings and beginnings. Um, and then this one, it's about letting go and destruction. So you, you can get different, different energies depending on which one you get, even if you got a similar god or goddess. So let's start with that. Let's start with our god and goddess card. We'll find out what what deck we should be pulling from oh we got number six it's off the thing that's number six so we need to be pulling from the mythic oracle so i'm just going to put these guys aside let's put them over here all right so we've got the mythic oracle which is a deck um with greek god and goddesses so very classic so i'm just going to think about this person and what energies they might need in their life right now or what archetypes you don't have to be pagan to do this um, if you're not pagan you you know you don't necessarily believe in gods and goddesses you might just look at this as an archetype uh, you know typal energy to work with okay okay I'm gonna cut this three times as I usually do and I'm just gonna place that right there we can look at it after okay the next one that I pull is an angel card now, I do have several angel decks. However, the one that I like to use the most for this is the angel oracle cards, the archangel oracle cards. And the reason for that is that this one includes all 15 of the archangels. Um, and so it's 45 cards and they, uh, so they appear about, I think like four times or three times each, pardon me. Um, so it covers all of them. And again, you know, if you're not into angels, you can substitute this for something else. Um, or you can just look at it as maybe like an archetype or um, a clue about your spirit helpers to work with you. So I'm just going to think about this person. Shuffle the cards. Okay. All right. So there's our angel card. And then I pull an animal card for your animal spirit or the types of animal energies that you're going to be working with. The two decks that I use for this, I have Steve Farmer's message from your spirit guides. And I also have the Druid Animal Oracle. And so if I roll an even number, it's this one. And if it's, or pardon me, an odd number, it's this one. Even is this one. That's the way I do it. All right. So again, we'll roll. We have an even number. So we're pulling from the Steve Farmer. That's definitely telling me to stop. Okay. Again, 
job. And we'll put the animal card in the middle there. Next, I pull a plant card. Now, right now, the only plant deck I really have is the Oracle of the Trees, the Wisdom of the Trees Oracle. Pardon me. And I'm looking at getting the Druid Plant Oracle and also maybe a flower deck. If anybody has some good plant oracle decks they can recommend to me, I'm more than willing. I'm open-minded to that. But right now, we're going to just pull a tree spirit to work with. Again, always cut into three, and then let's put our plant one there. Okay. And then finally, a crystal that can help you, that you might want to work with right now. And that for that, I do have, again, two decks. I have the Healing Oracle Crystal Reading Cards by Rachel Charman, and I also have the Crystal Wisdom Oracle by Judy Hall. So this one is number two, the other one's number one, so again... We're looking for evens and odds. Oh, we got an odd. Okay. So that means we are using the crystal reading cards. So again, we'll shuffle. So you can adjust this. I mean, you may not have all these different kinds of decks. Maybe you have a crystal deck and an angel deck. You can still work with that. You can pull a crystal. You can pull an angel. This is just sort of um, because I have lots of different kinds of decks. This is just the way that I do it. And I think it gives a really balanced reading because you have celestial energy with the gods and with the angels. And then you have sort of more earth-based energy with the animals, the plants, and the crystals. So let's see what we have. So for God and Goddess, we have Helios, Illumination. So when you're working with this spirit, Helios is the original god of the sun before Apollo came along, which is later historically. And so Helios is all about illuminating, lighting things up. He's about inspiration. So this person may want to take a look at what is giving them joy in their life. What's illuminating their life as opposed to what's detracting from it or making them feel depressed. So it's all about putting light into things, finding joy in things, even if they're hard or they're difficult right now. Um, it's also about lighting up the areas of your life that maybe you don't want to look at. So maybe shining light on those areas that are difficult or hard so that you can work with them and bring love and healing and joy to them so that you can move forward and move on. It could also be telling you that you might actually need more sunlight. You need to actually go outside be in the sun, enjoy yourself more. You might want to take a winter holiday where you can be in the sun more. So it might actually be quite literal telling you that you need more sun. But also I think more than anything is telling you that you need to look for the areas in your life that bring you joy, that are inspiring you, and to ask for that joyful energy to come into your life. Next we have uh, Victory, which is Archangel Sandalfall. And it says, your prayers have been heard and answered, have faith. So pretty straightforward. They're saying that, you know, if you've been having trouble with a particular situation, that, you know, your prayers are being heard and answered to be patient. But it's promising you that you will be victorious, that victory is on its way, that things are going to be resolved, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. And Archangel Sandalfon is the archangel in charge of music. And so listening to music that lifts you up and bring you joy is going to bring you to a higher vibration. So these, both these together are really telling me that this person really needs to lift up their vibration to do that in a way, both by bringing more light and joy into their life and bringing music into their life. And then things will start to become um, more joyful and light. You'll start to attract more positivity towards you. So it's saying, be positive. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and, you know, victory is on its way. Things, you will succeed. For the animal spirit, we have spider. So it says to trust your creative spark and to express it through writing. Now, spider means a couple of things to me. One of them is that you should, if you were thinking of writing a book or, um, you know, putting anything out there into the world in written form, whether it's a blog or an actual novel, and I feel like for this person it is an actual book, um, that they definitely have the energy to do that, that they have the talent to do that. They can definitely, this is something they really need to focus on. Um, the other thing that Spider brings up for me is Spider to me is all about how you weave your fate. So how the thoughts and the words you put out into the world have a ripple effect. So we're all weaving a web. And what kind of web are you weaving? Are you weaving 
a negative web or a positive web. So again, it's saying to look at the positive in your life and focus on that because that's what you're going to be weaving. But if you're thinking of, you know, doing anything as far as writing, this is kind of like a big go ahead saying, yes, this is time to do it. For tree, we have the date palm. Uh, the date palm is a tree that yeah, I think a lot of people uh, that study sort of Western uh, mythology are probably not overly familiar with, although people may be familiar with it, with it from Christianity, you know, um, the palms, waving the palms when Jesus comes into Jerusalem. So it's definitely a card of, again, of victory and saying that you will be victorious in the challenges you're taking on. The date palm is all about gr gracefulness as well, though, because the date palm is strong but flexible. So the date palm can you know, uh, it's flexible in strong winds. Um, it doesn't blow over. So it's saying that no matter what changes are going on around you or challenges are going on in your life, you have the flexibility to be able to adapt and to be able to go with the changes and not break because of them. The date palm is also uh, probably one of the oldest fruits eaten by humans. And so dates are all about the sweetness of life. And so again, it's saying to look at all the sweet things you have around you. Enjoy the sweet things in life. Enjoy, you know, food and enjoy sensuality. Enjoy your life. Enjoy things. Um, you know, not everything has to be a struggle all the time. So it's saying that you do have the strength um, and the flexibility to withstand whatever challenges are in your way. And also uh, that you need to find that sweetness and that joy in your life. And finally, we have clear quartz, which is purification. Now, clear quartz, um, you know, it's, it's a relatively easy quartz to, or crystal to find. It's probably the most common. A lot of people overlook it because they're like, oh yeah, clear quartz. I love clear quartz. I think it's a wonderful, often overlooked uh, crystal. It amplifies whatever energy you're putting into things. So it's saying that right now is really a time when your energies are actually quite strong and are going to be and again, this goes back to the web where you're going to be whatever intentions you're putting out in the world are actually going to resonate really strongly. So make sure you're putting out really good intentions. Uh, clear quartz, it says here, it's about purification. So really sitting back and trying to think about what adds to my life instead of what's taking away from it. So getting rid of the stuff that no longer serves you, you know, outdated behaviors or thoughts or even just outdated junk that you just doesn't, isn't part of your life anymore. So it's all about clearing that stuff out and purifying your life. Um, and knowing that, um, you know, as you kind of work on yourself and become more positive and work on yourself, that's going to resonate and vibrate out into the outer world around you. And you're going to find more and more joy for yourself. So, um, this has, I think, a pretty clear message for the person that is, um, that's receiving this reading. What I see here is that really centered is this person wants to do something creative, especially with writing, and it's definitely giving them the go ahead. It's also saying that this person, I, th I like the spider being in the middle here. It's kind of like they're in the middle of the web here. Um, that what you do has broader implications for your life in the future and for people around you. So make sure that you're doing things with the best of intention. This will also bring victory to you, to you swiftly and also help you to, um, you know, if, if you're focusing on the positive, it's going to bring more joy into your life. So I'm seeing very strong sort of uh, message here also with the date palm saying that you need to look at more of the sweetness in your life. So again, for this person, we have Helios. Uh, the sun god telling her to illuminate her life and to make sure that she's looking at the positive and also finding that time to maybe do some shadow work where you're looking at the darker things and practicing, you know, forgiveness and practicing letting go. And then we have Sandalfon telling this person that, yes, they will be victorious, that, um, that success is on its way, especially if you keep positive. And also that, you know, don't forget to bring some music into your life. Trust your creative impulses. Go for it. Um, enjoy your life, date, like the date palm says. And no matter what, just remember, no matter what changes are thrown at you, you have the you have the grace and the flexibility to deal with it. And also clear quartz, which is showing you that um, right now your energies are very very strong. So trust yourself that what you're putting out to the world can definitely um, definitely come to pass. And also that you know this is a time of letting go of purification for you. So this is just a quick example of a reading for the spiritual support system. Again, if you're interested, you can go to my site, um, 
the links are below and take a look at those. But also if you just want to do this for yourself, if you have, if you're like me and you're a big card collector and you have lots of different kinds of cards, it's a great way to kind of combine them and see what energies are working for you right now. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Please put in the comments below any questions you have, comments, that kind of thing. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.